Candle Pins for Dollars is brought to you by your New England Toyota dealer. Dunkin' Donuts, America runs on Dunkin'. And Sullivan Tire and Auto Service. Precision and power best describes this 22-year-old Pro Tour bomber from Lynn Mass. Put your hands together for Dave the Razor Barber. A combination of power and accuracy best describes this sharpshooter from Peabody Mass. Please welcome Easy Air Tringali. From New England, the Candlepin Bowling Capital of the Universe. Small ball just got a whole lot bigger. World Champion Bowlers. Fierce competition. Big cash prizes. It's Candlepins for Dollars. Hello, bowling fans. Welcome to Havel Mass once again here at Pilgrim Lanes. Nice to have you aboard. As we get started once again for Candle Pits for Dollars. Hi, everybody. Frank Malikot along with Mike Morin as we jump into week three, ladder series number three. And the story remains the same. It's all about Dave Barber, who's come up from the sixth seed and tonight taking on Ed Tringali, who is the three seed. Talk about the bowlers in just a moment, but they are vying for some big bucks. $1,500 will go to the top prize cash winner here in this ladder series and tonight's runner up will take home a check for 400 bucks and let's sweeten the pot just a bit tnt bowling bucks 25 dollars bonus money sponsored by tnt vacations tntvacations.com all right there you see it three marks 25 bucks another mark will give you another 25 bucks so we'll keep giving you 25 dollars until you stop and if you happen to get three strikes in a row our bowler gets a trip for two for seven days at the holiday inn sunspree resort in aruba with airfare included tnt vacations making it even more fun for these bowlers to make money and vacations now. And let's take a look at the ladder thus far, all about Barber working his way up from the bottom rung and hoping to meet Mr. Baker someday. Well, Baker sitting at the top spot, which of course is the best place to be as the top seed, unlike last time he was on when he was the number six seed. Let's talk about Dave Barber. He's 21 years of age, our six seed out of Lynn. As dad owns Lucky Strike Lanes, he's been a phenomenon. That's it. As they say, you come from good genes. He is a Hall of Fame bowler, his dad is. All right, Dave Barber's average is 124, his best single 179. I predict that'll be shooting up much more. He's fairly new to the game, actually, only nine years. High triple 475. They call him the Razor because he's cutting through the competition. Ed Tringali will be 40 in June. He is the father of two, and it, you may recall, was on our inaugural show against Sean Baker. Let's take a look at what he's all about. His average is 123. His best single is 205, best triple 469. His high 10 is 1318, and he is from Peabody, Massachusetts. It is Ed Tringale, it is Dave Barber, and we're gonna kick it off with Dave Barber. And Barber with a nine. You know, Frank, he's doing what Sean Baker did a couple of ladders ago, and that is starting from the number six position and just leaving wreckage along the side of the way all the way so far. That's a good way to put it, too. Wreckage. Of course, that 159 out of the box. There's his father, Jim, Hall of Famer. Dave Birkin. Look at that. Pick it up from last week as he comes out spare and strike. Last pin, of course, to go is a six pin, taking a love tap off the sidewall on the right-hand side. And here's Ed Tringali. As I mentioned, you may recall our inaugural show against Sean Baker. Baker beat everyone but Gene Gallagher. And then qualifying this time around as the number three seed out of Peabody Mass, father of two. Open to pick up a uh, mark, and he does too. Well, he knows there is no time to be waiting for Barber because Barber's already out of the gate like a flourish with a couple of marks. Well, I know Ed was up here last week watching the Surrett match, and he didn't want to fall behind 40 pins out of the gate. And he'll fill that with a eight. It's the two and the ten. He's got some wood to work with. Somehow, though, needs to get the ball on the left-hand side of the two-pin. Well, he thought he would work the wood in the middle, but that didn't, uh, didn't work out for him. So he'll probably just go for the 10-pin in the corner, which is the sure nine. Using the wood. Well, no. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Good for him. 
It's actually kind of early in the match, I guess, to go for the sure thing, so why not take a chance at making the, uh, the, the well, it's not a spare, but it's a split conversion on the 10 box. That picks up an extra pin anyway, huh? 28. Good for him. That was great. Here comes Barber working the strike. Oh! A double! And ladies and gentlemen, another strike. Mike, take it away. One more, and we're going to give him a trip for two for seven days at the Holiday Inn Sunspray Resort in Aruba. And we'll give as many of these away this season. There is no limit as to how many we can give away. But you got to get a triple strike. Let's see what he can do. Well, a little excitement there, but a little too far off the pin. Went to the right side. Leaps two. But with the spare and two strikes, he does get $25. TNT bowling bucks anyway. And make that another $25 for $50. Wow. He is smoking here. Golly coming off the 10 box. 28 thus far. And punches one up the middle there. Is the spread eagle minus two pins. Or one, two. Spread, spread something. I don't know if there's a name for that one. Minus the 710. Gonna find himself almost 30 pins behind in completed boxes through three frames. Oh Seems to be wow. uh, Barber's calling card. Here's Ed Tringali on how important it is to get the youth of America involved in candle pin bowling. I think that's the big thing about having bowling on TV is that the kids are watching it and the kids are saying, hey, I can do that. Or I want to do that when I'm older. Um, that's how I did it. I used to watch the old Channel 5 show and that's what I said. I said, I want to be one of those guys. And, you know, I worked my butt off and just kept bowling in leagues and, you know, worked my way up the ranks and here I am doing the same thing. And that's what it's all about. Well, there you go again. We hear from the bowler and he marks. What a yeah, a we seem to have a trend going. Absolutely. That was a great shot. And he's got to make some great shots because he's he's 30 pins behind, 32 pins behind. And we're only four boxes into the... Uh, and he's marked in two of the four. Look at that! How about that? If Barber had had that the last frame, he'd be on a trip to Aruba once again. That's what they call a mixing strike, and that's now another $25. See if he can add another. Well, he hasn't missed yet. And this is a makeable spare, two, four, five, seven. He's on a $75 TNT bowling buck tear. Make that 100. <laughs> what about wow. that? <laughs> And he's smiling too. A 108. And he's through the five and working the spare to boot. How about that? This is where people start thinking that possibly a 200 game could be bowled. Which is extremely rare. Now Tringali fills his spare with a nine. He'll need them all with this guy. up as well. Nice spare for Ed Tringali. Ed's bowling very well, but it still pales by comparison to Barber, who's got 108 through five. Phenomenal string going. A Niner in that spare. He's got a good string going, but Barber is on fire. Let's see if he can pick up the spare. Misses, and for the 10 box at an 84, but a ways to go to catch up with Dave Barber. Give him the 10 box, that's an 84. But right now it is all about Dave Barber who's picked up some bonus bucks. Coming up, we'll finish that first ring. There are the numbers right there. And don't forget a little later in the show, stand by for Tundra time. We're gonna be giving away a Toyota Beauty. You're gonna find out all the details when Candle Pins for Dollars return. Stay with us.